absolutely brilliant. Shrikan's good, Ambi. Incredible. And a second Super Series title in two weeks. Kidambi Srikanth is playing the best badminton of his career. Having won the last two World Super Series tournaments in Indonesia, then Australia, the Indian shuttler is the man of the moment in men's singles. And the 23-year-old is mighty pleased to have found his winning touch after struggling with injury. I've been out uh, for like three months, you know, last year uh, so it was like you know the moment i you know came back from that injury the moment i recovered from that you know it was just to enjoy playing badminton that's it you know and i really missed so much of competitive badminton so now it's just about being there in the tournament as long as possible it was a testing period for kadambi who has had to endure the time away from the game and getting back to form after coming out of his injury but the player who was once ranked number three in the world knew it was a matter of time before he got going again. I think when I was actually injured after the Olympics, I was eight. And then by the time I recovered and started playing, you know, I really lost so many points. And then I think uh, I was somewhere in 20s. And then, and then after a couple of months, I slipped to that 31 or whatever. I think injury, period was uh, very tough because you know I never got such a big break so it was tough uh, for me also to, to just sit you know without really playing badminton so it was tough and then I think uh, but still you know it was uh, like like I didn't want to push uh, myself uh, you know to really get back on court quick it was just to give myself that little bit more rest I required and uh, and I, I know if I can actually, you know, recover well and then start playing, I'll, I, I knew I'll definitely, one day I'll definitely, you know, pick it up, you know, get back to my 100% for sure. Srikant's positive attitude and hard work in training started to reap rewards. He reached the final of the Singapore Open in April, giving him the belief that he was getting back on track. To play finals there, I think it was a big confidence booster for me. You know, that's the time I really started believing in myself. And I think that Singapore, uh, you know, I really played well throughout the week. I've, uh, I really played well against some top players there, and uh, and I think that really gave that belief, that really gave that confidence I needed. Although Srikanth lost in the Super Series final to compatriot Sai Pranith. The good showing in Singapore spurred him to push on in the next events. Going into the Indonesia, it wasn't about winning the Super Series or playing another finals. It was just to play well, play well from the first round. Because, you know, uh, before the Indonesia Open, I was somewhere around 25 or something. And then I, in the first round itself, I really got to play a top 10 player. So it was, uh, it was to play well from the very beginning. It, it was to play well from first round. Because, you know, I'm playing a higher ranked opponent. It's just to play well, that's it. And play well was exactly what the Indian shuttler did. Srikanth went all the way in Jakarta to top the podium at the World Super Series Premier Tournament. Srikanth Kadambi has bounced back. It was a special tournament for sure. You know, Indonesia is definitely one of the best badminton sporting nations we have and you know, to win a Super Series Premier in such a big, huge crowd, I think it was a fantastic moment. And then uh, more than finals, I would say the semi-finals match was a tough one, a very close one against Sean Vanu. So I think that match really gave me so much more confidence. And Kadambi didn't stop there. Buoyed by the result in Indonesia, he carried forward the winning momentum in Australia. Going into the Australia also, it's, it's, it's still the same, you know, to play well from the very beginning. And I wasn't really thinking about winning or, or I didn't really set any targets for myself. It was, uh, it was about just to play well, that's it. And, uh, and after, a, you know, after a tough uh, week, it's always, uh, it's always you know, tough to play in the you know, initial round. So, so yeah, in the Australia, it was, uh, you know, I just 
I was only thinking about match by match, that's it. The run of good results saw the Indian player climb back into the elite top 10. His recent turnaround coincided with India roping in Indonesian coach Mulyo Handoyo earlier this year. Together with head coach Pulela Gopachand, Mulyo has been instrumental in his marvellous return to form. Mulyo came here uh, you know, in Feb, so that's when I actually recovered from an injury and started playing. So it was kind of uh, like training with Mulyo was kind of something where uh, you know, I felt like I was starting from scratch. Like there's so much of him in my success for sure. Like training with him, you know, the man who's really had so much of experience uh, and then who's really trained Taufik for an Olympic medal, Olympic gold. So I think uh, his experience really mattered so much, I feel. Well, I think uh, he's been somebody who's uh, actually performed very well recently and uh, he's somebody who has a potential to do very well in the future. And uh, we hope that uh, he has a good performance at the World Championships and also in the future he's somebody whom we can trust to have more results. After the triumph in Sydney, Srikanth has become a marked man with the World Championships just around the corner. And the Indian ace is keeping to his strategy that has worked so far play to his best and not to be overly focused with the result. So then there'll definitely be you know, high expectations for sure, but for me it's about uh, you know, playing well, playing my game, my 100% from every round, that's it. You know. I'm, I, I'm not really setting targets for myself there, it's just about, you know, it's just about playing that match, that's it. The, the, like the, from the first rounds, uh, you know, at the World Championships, it'll always be tough. So I'm only thinking about uh, you know, the initial rounds first and then, and then it's, it's about match by match, that's it. India has never had a player on top of the World Championships podium and they'll be hoping they'll be a first in Glasgow.